Hey y'all, let's take a look at what they call boat in the river. Uh, no, they don't call them that. We don't use such language in my math videos. Okay, anyway, puzzles. All right, so let's look back at the distance equation. Distance equals what times what? Rate times time, right? Okay, if you were just running or, you know, I don't know, on a bicycle or whatever, you're going at a certain speed and pretending it's a uniform speed. If you were going down a river, you are going at the speed that you're rowing the boat, or let's say your boat is a, a, you know, a motor boat, plus you get to also say uh, your speed is helped along downstream because of the flowing water speed. So let's say the water speed is five miles an hour and you're rowing at you know, eight miles an hour, then your total speed is 13 miles an hour. Okay, now you turn around, now it's time to go back to where you were. Well, you're rowing at eight miles an hour, but unfortunately the water is flowing against you five miles an hour. So your you know, net speed would be three miles an hour in that case. So, but you still use the same thing. We still go distance equals rate times time. So there's the distance and that equals the rate times the time. And this is why we've done those previous problems kind of piddling with these types of uh, you know, uh, parentheses and things like that with time. We're going to actually come up with these equations ourselves today. So that's the downstream equation because you, that's the boat plus the water. So in other words, the rate is the speed of the boat plus the speed of the water times the time. That's equal to the distance. Okay. If it's upstream, how's it going to change? What's well, going to look different? It's going to be B minus the W, right? Okay. So that's what you're doing. You're doing exactly the same thing. You're going to come up with these equations and then, um, Substitute in and boom, there you go. Okay, so let's do one. Ed and Fran could go 60 miles downstream in the same time it took them to go 20 miles upstream. If their boat speed was eight, what was the current speed? Let's just say water speed. Anytime you see the word current, just put water in there to remind yourself that's what it is. Okay, what were their times? Blah, blah, blah. Okay, well, they can go 60 miles downstream. So that's the distance downstream, right? And the distance downstream is going to be the rate times the time. So uh, downstream will be plus the boat plus the water. In other words, let's just put it here. What the heck? Okay, that's the time downstream. And the distance is 60 miles, right? Okay, they tell us they go 60 miles downstream. Same time it took them to go 20 miles upstream. So we'll put, you know, the time upstream. And they're going to go 20 miles. And of course, this time, oops, um, I wrote a plus anyway. I told myself to write a minus, but it, my brain didn't work. Okay. All right. So we're going to subtract it. Okay. Their boat speed was eight. What was the current speed? Well, let's just stick it in there. The boat speed is eight. So that goes away. And we'll just stick an eight in there. Okay. All right. And there we go. So, you know, you can put, we can just kind of get rid of this for right now. Go ahead and multiply out these two equations. So this gets multiplied. We got 8t plus wt equals 60. And we have 8t minus wt equals 20. Now, again, we're going to, you know, eliminate. Now, you don't want to eliminate this one and be stuck there with something that, oh, wt equals, you know, I mean, that doesn't help any. You want to get this one with just the T left over, which means we're going to add this thing. Okay, so those add out, they get 16T equals 80, so the T is equal to 5. Okay, so the time, which means, uh, you know, how long they go, it's 5 hours. All right, now the only question is they ask, what was the water speed? In other words, we're going to have to figure out what uh, W is. So we can just stick this in there. Every time you see a T, just stick it in there. The eight times, I mean, you could do this one, you could do the one below it, doesn't matter. So the T is equal to five. So eight times five is 40, plus the W, which we don't know, times the T, that's five times W, equals 60, all right? So five times W equals 60 minus 20, uh, 40, and so W equals four, and there we go. Let's just check it. If you're going, if the, um, the speed of the boat is 8 and the speed of the water is 4, if you're going downstream, you're going 8 plus 4, 12 miles an hour, right? Well, in 5 hours, you're going 12 miles an hour, 
you're going to go 60 miles downstream. Now, if you're going upstream and your boat is eight miles an hour and you're losing the four, then you're going four miles an hour, right? Okay. Well, then in five hours, which is the time you did, if you're going four miles an hour, you're going 20 miles. That's our check. There you go. That's it. Okay. Let's try another one. All right. Oop, there's my... The steamboat runny nose could go 70 miles downstream in five hours, but needed six hours to go 48 miles upstream. Speed of the boat, speed of the current, and let's just go water again. Okay. Well, again, you can go ahead if you want to and just make yourself the basic equation. Doink! And that equals plus is going to be, let's just go ahead and write it. Well, you know what? Let's just take distance uh, downstream. And then we'll do the same thing. We got uh, minus, and that's going to be distance to upstream. Okay, well, then let's just plug in stuff. We got 70 miles downstream. That's the distance, right? So let's get rid of this and go. That's going to be 70. Okay, six hours to go 48 miles upstream. Well, I'll do it again. Okay, um, it goes five hours for 70 miles, and it goes six hours. Okay, well, no big deal. We got five here, and we go six here. So, we go five, and we go six. What was the speed of the boat? What was the speed of the current? Okay, we don't know, all right? So, let's figure it out. Okay, we need six hours, boom, okay. All right, well, let's take a look. We have B plus W times five. Let's just go ahead and do it. We got five B plus 5w equals 70, and we got 6b, uh, nope, not plus, it's minus, let me change that, okay, that's going to be minus, Let's see if I can get away with half of it, oop, of course, that's real skill, okay, well, I, you know, here's an idea, okay, we could either multiply this top one by 6 and the bottom one by 5. You know what? Let's just go ahead and do the easiest thing. Or just so you'll know, we could, what we could do is divide the entire line here by 5. That would give us B plus W is 14. We could also divide this by 6, which would be B minus W equals 8. Either one of those is fine. You know what? I frankly wouldn't mind doing that second way. Let's just do that. I'm dividing the top by 5, and I get B plus W equals 70 divided by 5. I'm going to do this one, divide by 6, which gives me B minus W equals 48 divided by 6, which is 8. Okay. All right. Well, we can do any one you want. Let's just add straight down. W's go away. We get 2B equals 22. So, of course, B is equal to 11. So, the boat's going 11 miles an hour. Okay. Well, 11 plus W is 14, which means the water is going to be going 3 miles an hour. Of course, if you wanted to try this one, 11 minus, you know, what gives you eight? That's three again. Okay. So with, you know, the speed going downstream is 11 plus three or 14 miles an hour, which gives us 70 miles in five hours. The speed upstream is going to be 11 minus three or eight miles an hour. Well, you need six hours going eight miles an hour to go 48 miles. There you go. Okay. And it, again, these are all you're doing is just going distance equals rate times time. You can do it this way every single time if you want. And then just erase, you know, and just stick stuff in there and figure out what needs to go where. Okay, let's try one. The water in the French Broad River <clears throat> flows at five miles per hour. All right, well, that's interesting. Here, I'm gonna, again, just, let's just do my basic. Okay, that's distance downstream. And then the distance upstream equals that. Okay, so the water flows five miles per hour. Well, that gives us two things we can get rid of then, right? Water's going five miles an hour. Just stick it in there, all right? A speedboat can go 15 miles upstream <clears throat> in the same time it takes to go 25 miles downstream. Okay, well, that's nice. So, get rid of those. So, downstream is 25, and this is 15. How fast can the boat go in still water? Well, again, we've got, let's just go across and multiply. So, B times T is BT plus 5t, that equals 25, and we have bt minus 5t, that equals 15. And of course, we want to get rid of this one, so we're going to subtract the whole thing here. So that's gone. 
5t minus negative 5t is 10t. 25 minus 15 is 10. <coughs> Excuse me. So the time uh, is one hour. Okay, so now we, we found one. They're asking them, however, how fast can the boat go in still water? Well, in other words, we want the B. We've got everything except for the B now. So you can take either one of these equations, that one or that one, and just stick in the t is equal to 1. Might as well just do the top one. You know what? Heck, heck with that. Let's just do this bottom. So b minus 5 times t, well, I mean, you know, t is 1. You just want to multiply by 1. That equals 15, so the boat is going 20 miles an hour. There we go. That's it. Okay. That makes sense, right? The boat's going 20 miles an hour, and the water's flowing 5 miles an hour. Downstream, the boat's going 20 plus 5. Upstream, the boat's going 20 minus 5, 15 miles. Boom. Okay. Okay, there we go. Let's try two of these problems, and go ahead and pause it and try A. All right, there are our basic equations. They go 50 miles downstream. Same time, they come 30 miles upstream. So here we go. The boat traveled at four miles an hour, so we get to hack away the bees, and we'll just go ahead and put in four, and we're going to go ahead and uh, carry that over, so we have 4t plus wt equals 50, and 4t minus wt equals 30, and we're going to add because that's, that gets rid of this part right here, so we have 8t equals 80. And then the time is 10. Okay. So same time. So the times are 10. So they need to know the speed of the current, which is the water, of course. Okay. Well, we can use either one of these you want to. Um, here, let's just, since we've already kind of multiplied this out, let's go ahead and use this one. So 4 times T is 40 plus W times T, which means 10 times W equals 50. All right. Well, 10 times W is 50 minus 40. And of course, W is just, oh, there we go. Okay. All right. Let's try A. Go ahead and pause it. And try, I mean, excuse me, try B. Pause it and try B. All right. And these are, you know, that's always, always the same, you know, formula here. And just plop it in here. The sloop Zolly. We go 33 miles downstream in three hours. Well, let's just put it in there. 33 miles downstream in three hours. And here we go. 33 miles downstream in three hours. Required four hours to go 12 miles upstream. Okay. Oop. And there we go. Four hours to go 12 miles. And the speed of the boat and the speed of the water. Okay, let's just multiply right across. So 3b plus 3w is 33. 4b minus 4w is 12. And I'm gonna do the same thing I did before. Uh, what we can do is turn this into an equation, uh, some easier one by dividing this entire thing by three. And of course, if you ever forget this, you can always just do the same thing you used to do with the X's and Y's and do elimination. But, oh, multiply on the top by four and multiply on the bottom by three. That's totally fine to do that. But I'm just going to do it the other way. So I have a new equation. B plus W equals 11. In the bottom equation, I divide by four. So I get B minus W equals three. So I can add or subtract. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to add. What the heck? 2B equals 14. So the boat is going seven miles an hour. Okay. Well, 7 plus something is 11. Of course, the water is going 4. Okay, let's check it just to make sure. If you're in a boat going 7 miles an hour and the water's flowing at 4, you're going 11 miles an hour, right? Well, if you're going 11 miles an hour and you go 3 hours, you're going to go 33 miles an hour, right? Okay, if you're in a boat and you're going upstream, you're going 7 miles an hour, plus you're fighting the water at 4 miles an hour, you're going 3 miles an hour, right? 7 minus 4. So if you're going three miles an hour and you go for four hours, you go 12 miles, boom, there you go. Okay. All right. See you guys next time. Have a good day.